now Dakota Ring Theater presents the continuing adventures of Canada's greatest superhero, that scourge of the underworld, hunter of those who prey upon the innocent, that marvelous masked mystery man known only as the Red Panda. The Red Panda, mysterious crusader for justice, hides his true identity as one of the city's wealthiest men in his never-ending battle against crime and corruption. Only his trusty driver, Kit Baxter, who joins him in his quest in the guise of the Flying Squirrel, knows who wears the mask of the Red Panda. This episode, The Big Top. I'm telling you, Mo, you must be mistaken. I heard what I heard, Mr. Kelly. Somebody was in the penthouse. Mo, Mr. and Mrs. Salem have been away for a month. The management has been left with strict instructions that no one is to be admitted to the penthouse level in their absence. I know that. The stairwells have been sealed and locked, and all copies of the keys have been left in our safe. I know that, too. And the elevator will only run to the penthouse level if this key is in the control panel. And I hold the only copy. Aside from the one Mr. Salem has with him in the south of France... Yes, sir. I know all that, sir. So, wouldn't you mind telling me how you could possibly hear someone in the penthouse 20 stories above the city? I guess we're about to find out, Mr. Kelly. Find out! You know what a rhetorical question is. It's what you ask when someone imagines the utterly impossible. Impossible, I say! I don't have to tell you, Mo. When Mr. Salem finds out his direct instructions have been violated, I'll have enough of a time keeping my own job. Much less yours. Yes, sir. Great Scott! I tried to tell you, sir. The apartment's been rifled! Yes, sir. They've been everywhere. Mrs. Kelly's jewels. The wall safe. I'll call the police. It's impossible. I I tell you, it's just impossible. Geez, boss. I like the circus as much as the next girl, but are you sure this is a good idea? What's that? Being seen with me. When am I not seen with you? Well, that's different. Usually, either I'm in driver's duds or we're both in masks. Mm. I can't remember the last time I wore a dress. How does it feel? Very easy. Hmm. Yes, uh... I don't think we'll find too many society reporters at the circus, Kit. What about Lulu Lalonde? Who? Who? That gossip columnist from the Chronicle? The one who suggested there was more between a certain wealthy young gadabout and his lady driver than meets the eye? Lalonde. Lalonde. The one you wouldn't let me throw off the bank tower? Ah, yes. Now I recall. Why are you smiling? Me? Sometimes I smile. Is there something you're not telling me? I don't think you need to worry about Lulu Lalonde anymore. Please tell me you drowned her. Close. I bought the Chronicle and transferred her to another paper. It's how rich boys fight. And you didn't tell me this because... I didn't want you to think I was vindictive. (laughs) Vindictive? You gave her another job. How is that... I transferred her to Winnipeg. Oh... Oh, you vicious brute. <clears throat> now, now. You did that just for a little old me. Kit Baxter, behave yourself. Yes, boss. Wealthy spoiled brats don't take public slaps from gossip columnists. If I'd let her get away with it, I'd be attracting attention and risking our secret identities. Mm-hmm. And then you take me out to the circus because... To see the amazing Androvs. The amazing Androvs? They do it all. High wire, trapeze, any sort of aerial acrobatics you can name. I trained with them when I was first preparing to become the Red Panda. Oh, so we're working. We're always working. (sighs) I guess. Don't take it so hard. Come on, I'll buy you some peanuts. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, one and all. We are here all this week. Please tell your neighbors and your friends. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, one Boss, and all. We're here that all this week. was amazing. I thought you'd like it. Those elephants were so big. Yes, they... 
elephants? Yeah. I mean, I knew they were big, but then pfft, there they were. Were they larger than ordinary elephants? Where would I have seen an elephant? On safari? All right. Perhaps on a posting in India? I brought you to see the amazing Androvs. Yeah, they were pretty good. Pretty good? They only... You, you're pulling my leg, aren't you? Crack. I thought that routine would be good for another five minutes. One of these days... Promises, promises. Boss, they were amazing. And this is from a girl who spends her evenings flying between rooftops. Yes, Kit. The entire Androv family has mastered every aspect of the acrobatic arts. They perform feats of daring that you and I would be hard-pressed to recreate. And they do it all without static shoes or gliding membranes. I saw a few of your moves up there. How did they look? Have you ever considered a leotard? Kit Baxter. We've done that bit already. I guess we have. Do you want a toffee apple? Are you plying me with sweets now? If it gets you off the leotard idea. Come on, I'm good for it. Did I mention I'm filthy rich? Gosh. And I wasn't impressed at all till just now. One, please. Boss, look! Isn't that the Androvs over there? Yes! Yes, that's them, all right. The tall one is Pop Androv, one of the most gifted athletes I've ever encountered. Should we, uh, go and say hello? We'd better not. They wouldn't recognize me. I was disguised the whole time I trained with them. Don't tell me you wore the mask. I didn't have the mask yet, but it was a good disguise, reinforced with hypnosis. They might know the Red Panda, but they'd never know his alter ego. Look! That's Chief O'Malley! So it is. And he's got Constable Parker with him. There must be something wrong. Come on, let's get closer. What are you doing? You can't take him away. He hasn't done anything. Ma'am, we just want to ask your husband some questions. You ask him here. You don't take him away. Ma'am, this is a robbery investigation. We need to talk to your husband downtown. And if you don't wish to come with him, I suggest you calm down. It's all right, Mama. You look after things here. I'll be back as soon as I can. Let's go, Parker. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> well, boss, what do you think? Pop Androv is a decent man, Kit. This isn't right. I know what that means. Sorry to spoil your night off. Spoil my... Have you been paying any attention? Race you to the car. <laughs> now, Mama, it'll be all right. You'll see. Oh, Sasha, a mistake. Such a mistake. Of course it's all a mistake, Mama Androv. Who the devil? Where did you come from? What do you want? Boris, is that you? Oh, my Boris, to see you again. Boris? Boris! Boris? And who is this? Oh, Boris, she is a beauty. She certainly is. Down, Sasha. Won't you sit down, miss? Down, Dimitri. And I thought you fellas were hard to tell apart with those Harlequin masks on. Do all eight of you look this much alike? Maybe you should look more carefully. Much more carefully. Boris! <laughs> You pay them no attention. You come and see me. Never before has my little Boris brought a girl to meet Mama. Actually, uh, Mama... You hush! Always so shy he was. My Elena and my Irina, oh, how they chased him. And oh, how he ran. And Papa, he wanted Boris to stay with the circus. But no, fight crime he wanted to. And look at my little Boris now, Mr. Red Panda... Papa always said it had to be you. I'm sorry. I can't get past this whole Boris thing. Oh, he would never tell us his right name. So I named him after my Boris that died when he was a baby. Boris. Yes, Mama? Why don't you introduce Mama to your lady friend? Uh, Mama Androv, this is the Flying Squirrel. My sidekick. Sidekick. <laughs> sidekick. Sidekick. <gasps> Always shy with the girls. Mama! Yo, hush! You came to the show? Yes, it was wonderful. But that's not really why we're here. It isn't? We saw the police take Pop away, Mama. Those lousy no-good cops. Always trying to blame everything on circus folk. You remember? This isn't a small town, Sasha. And if the chief was here himself, this isn't a few missing chickens. 
Did they say what the charge was? No charge. There's no charge. They just want to ask him some questions. It's just a mistake. That's all. Chief O'Malley said it was a robbery investigation. Do you know anything more? Anything that can help get us started? Get started? Protecting innocent people is what we do, Sasha. We can help, Pop. Yes. Yes, Boris, you will help. You talk to the police, tell them Papa couldn't have done this thing. You tell them. I don't really have that kind of influence, Mama. But I'll do what I can. I promise. I don't know where you get the gall to stick your nose into police affairs, Red Panda, but we won't be needing any unsolicited advice on this one. Got everything figured out, have you, O'Malley? As a matter of fact... Your suspect has confessed and you've recovered the stolen goods? Uh, Well... I uh, thought as much. My unsolicited advice has helped you before... Why does it always have to be a spitting match? If you promise to keep the grandstanding to a minimum and keep that partner of yours out of my office... She said she was sorry. Sorry? I'm the one that spent three hours handcuffed to a gargoyle. We had to make Kid Chaos think she had actually changed sides. You could have let me in on it. There wasn't time. The city was saved, wasn't it? And as I recall, the papers had the distinct impression it was due to brilliant police work. Um, yes, well... uh... The Salem (sighs) break-in? The Salem's penthouse is 20 stories up, completely sealed off from the rest of the building while Mr. and Mrs. Salem are away. And yet a burglar was able to get in from the outside. Requiring remarkable physical skill, I grant you. But why the rush to detain... This circus performer. We had a dispatch about this traveling circus. Federal agencies have been looking for links between their performances and a series of bizarre and seemingly impossible burglaries that have followed them for the last year. What? Right across the prairies, through the Midwestern United States, starting last winter down south. More than a dozen cases, and who knows how many that we don't know about. But there was always an alibi. You have to be wrong about this. Why? Why? What aren't you telling me? It hardly seems like enough evidence is all. The Salem's wall safe contained over a hundred thousand dollars in securities. Not easily negotiable, but possible. A professional thief would certainly have made them top of the wish list, but our cat burglar left them behind in favor of a relatively small amount of cash and easily sold jewels. A unique combination of professional skills and amateur instincts, and one that exactly matches the pattern of crimes. But what makes you so sure that Pop... that Mr. Androv was responsible? If he's not, he knows who is. And for the first time, they've left physical evidence behind. A grapple with a tightrope attached. Must have run from the building across the street. Obviously, it was meant to retract, but the mechanism jammed and they were forced to cut the line. I'd like to see this, if I may. <laughs> Through here. Once we've tied this tightrope to the circus, we'll have all the evidence we need to... What is it? It's gone. It was right here on this table. And that's the only door. No one could have got in without us seeing them. Unless they used the window. But that's impossible. So it would seem. Whomever is responsible for this crime, Chief O'Malley, it doesn't seem to be the man in your holding cell. Then who the devil is it? Precisely what I intend to find out. You are listening to the Red Panda Adventures from Decoder Ring Theatre. Your address for adventure, mystery, and comedy. Boy, these Salems really know how to flaunt it, don't they? This penthouse is a monument to excess. The mansion is too subtle for you now? That place? Your family built it. And most of the really ridiculous things were there when you were born. As opposed to the sparring room or the secret tunnel to the lair. Right. You chose to do something with your money. These folks just show it off. And one of the ways they showed it off was to make this place impregnable. Or so they thought. We didn't have that tough a time getting in. We had static shoes to climb sheer surfaces and help us jump enormous distances, to say nothing of the grapple guns and gliding membranes. Who could possibly have made it in here without advanced devices or inhuman abilities? Who says they did? What's that? Well, it wasn't us, and it wasn't Pop Androv, so it must have been someone with gadgets or powers, right? Squirrel, that's brilliant. 
Who are the known players on the board up to the task? That's a tall order, boss. If all these other crimes are connected... I'm not worried about the other crimes. I'm worried about the one that Pop is being held for. Okay. I'm sorry, Squirrel. The Androvs are like family to me. They almost understand... Well, everything. How long were you with them? Over a year, off and on. I would leave when the circus traveled to a city where another expert lived, a great detective or martial arts master. But I always came back, at least until I left for the Orient. They're good people. I hate to see them put through this. Well, there's nothing more to learn here. We'll go back to the lair and hit the mug books. And we'll turn up something. Squirrel? Hmm? You seem a little distracted. Do we know any bad guys who do all black? Black tights, black masks, black gloves, a whole deal? Sounds too subtle for our usual crowd. Why do you ask? Then the guy outside on the ledge is new. I call first dibs. Squirrel, wait! <laughs> Hello, handsome. You climb like a monkey, but can you fly like a squirrel? <clears throat> Holy cats, you can jump too, can't you? Well, two can play at that game. <sighs> this guy is good. And the black costume is a nice touch. Now, where did he get to? Ah. Uh, he must be down on that rooftop. Nowhere to jump to now, is there, cutie? When I get my hands on you... Oh, what the... How did you get up there? No! Get all gone! Squirrel! Ten o'clock! Nice catch. I'm glad you were in the neighborhood. What were you doing? You could have been killed. Can't you ever just swing it on a rope and pluck me from midair without a lecture? Let a girl enjoy the ride for once. Squirrel. Don't. I wasn't? I had him, dead to rights. There's no way he could have got above me like that. There is one way. Come on. Hello, Mama. Oh, Boris. You mustn't sneak up on poor Mama like that. Where is your lady friend? My... Oh, Boris, I've been so worried. Where is Papa? As far as I know, he's still at police headquarters. But he did not do this thing. But he knows who did. And so do I. And so do you. I? What do you mean? Boris, tell Mama. Where is the squirrel? I'm right here, Mrs. Androff. Oh, Oh, my beautiful girl, you are all right. But you thought I wasn't, didn't you? Before you asked about your husband or the case, you asked about me. Like you knew I'd fallen from 16 stories up and you weren't sure if I'd made it. Oh, my little one, you must not say such things. Once a mama, always a mama. You knew. You knew the boys were committing those crimes and you said nothing. Boris, please. It was almost a perfect setup. All eight Androv boys look almost identical. With their masks on, it became impossible to tell them apart. You've been performing the same routines for years. They could cover for each other, and no one in the crowd would ever notice that one of them slipped out to pull a job. Which meant there was always an alibi if the law ever came looking. Or so they thought. No, little squirrel, you mustn't... The law's not stupid, Mrs. Androv. Sooner or later, they were going to put that pattern together. The only reason it took the boss this long is he didn't want to believe it. How long did you know? Boris! How long did you know? The boys didn't tell you just now. You're too collected. Did you know when they took Pop away? And you said nothing? Have you known all along that your sons were thieves? Oh! Don't you say that! Where do you think these crazy ideas came from? What do you mean? You, Boris. You. You and your big talk and your adventure. You come and you go, and then there you are in the newspapers. Everywhere we go, we hear about you. How you help people. People that cannot help themselves. Who were the boys helping except themselves? We never kept the money, Boris. Always they hide it, they give it. In the next town or the next. To churches, to charity. 
to people in the towns who cannot feed their children. In the city is bad. But out on the road? We pass through farm towns in the west where it has not rained in years and years. Places we visited year after year that just are not there anymore. Swept from the earth by an angry god. All the people gone who knows where. Papa, he saw the good things you do. How could he stand by and do nothing? You mean Pop knew? Of course he knew. Who do you think could plan this? Dimitri and his empty head? Yuri always looking at the girls? Of course Papa knew. Then he is guilty. Guilty? Of what guilty? Little squirrel, Boris never takes money. He could never let the children suffer. Well... Well... Sometimes, but only from criminals. To have so much when so many have nothing. They are criminals. That's not how it works, Mama. There's a line you don't cross, otherwise there's no difference between us and them. Of course there is difference. What is in your heart is different. No. There are laws. There are rules. What rules? Who makes these rules? Do they hear the children cry? Five years. Five years more since the businessmen jumped from the windows. Maybe they were the smart ones, Boris. No hope. No work. No rain. Only rules. Five years. The world that was is gone. Your rules are gone. No more. People keep waiting for the world to be fixed, but waiting will not make it rain where it will not. Neither will leading the charge into chaos and barbarism. Papa and the boys are not leading. They are following you. You have to stop this. Why? For rules? If for no other reason, because they'll catch you. Because your husband and your sons will die in prison. Where will you die, Boris? In an alley? A rooftop? Will she cry for you? Or will she die there, too? We made our choice. And we made ours. If they don't walk away, I'll have to bring them in. You wouldn't. You know I would. And you know what it would do to me. Oh, Boris. The money and the jewels from the Salem caper. Where are they? Sasha knows. What will you do? Take them to the police. I'll... I'll make something up. I'll get Pop out, I promise. But you'll have to go. And no more... No more stealing. I'll be watching. All right? Yes. Yes. Go. Goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Red Panda. (laughs) Boss! Hey, Boss! I've been over half the city looking for you. You okay? You switched your radio ring off. I noticed that. Oh, did you? Did you happen to notice the storm? You're soaked. So are you. Yeah, well, pneumonia loves company, I guess. I suppose you know the circus left this morning. Yeah, I suppose you did. You just gonna stand on a rooftop in the driving rain for a while? Okay. Two can play at that game. What if she's right? Mama Andro? Boss, look. I don't have a lot of time for rich folks, present company accepted. But even I don't think... I mean, if things belong to whoever's strong enough to take them, we've already lost. That's what we fight every day. That's not what I mean. Then what? What if it never gets any better? These are dark times, and I'd be lying if I said I could see the light ahead. We try to do our part to hold back the darkness, but what good can two people do against something like that? Is that really our job? Isn't it? You don't think we make a difference? I can't even count the people we've saved. The people we've helped. Drops in a bucket. Eh. And for every drop, there are people we've never even met that have hope where they didn't have any before. That believe in something or someone. And if you were going to start counting, you could start right here. 
Thanks, kid. But if things are never going to get better, if we're just propping up an old order... You know what your problem is? You've got a bad case of the big pictures. When skies are gray and there's nothing worth looking at, you keep your head down and your nose to the grindstone, and you'll get where you're going. That's what my father used to say. Why? Where are we going? I don't know. But we're not going to fix the world when we get there. Then why are we doing it? Because sooner rather than later, someone's going to need you. Somebody who's got nobody else. And you're going to help them. And they'll have a little hope every day for the rest of their lives. And you're probably going to put the fear of God into somebody else in the process. And that's always fun to watch. That doesn't sound so bad. Would it uh, sweeten the deal if I mentioned I'll be right there, thick and thin? It might. Kit? Yeah? No, somebody stop him! Am I crazy, or did I just see that man take that old woman's handbag? Hmm? Oh, see, all of the above. Let's go! And so concludes another adventure of the Red Panda! This recording and the story, characters, and situations contained therein are the exclusive property of their creator and copyright holder, Greg Taylor, and are produced and distributed by Decoder Ring Theater through arrangement with him. These recordings may not be rebroadcast or redistributed by any means for any reason without express permission. Until next time, when Decoder Ring Theater brings you the further thrilling adventures of Canada's greatest superhero, this is Stephen Burley reminding you DecoderRingTheater.com is your address to adventure! The Red Panda Adventures, episode 21, The Big Top, was written and directed by Greg Taylor and featured the vocal talents of Tim Vant, Denise Anderson, Evan Jones, Andrew Merzetti, Michael Booth, Andrea Lyons, Clarissa Dunetterlanden, and Greg Taylor. Until next time, for all of us here, good night. <laughs>